Hi, I'm Sophia, and I'm really excited to be a computer science tutor for Code with us. Thanks, Sophia. Uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself. So some of my hobbies aside from CS include uh, painting, running, and then over quarantine a million years ago, I got really into baking. So what actually made you decide to pursue computer science and programming? So the way that I got into computer science and programming in general, I actually come from the Bay Area. That's where I grew up. And over there, computer science is kind of like shoved down our throats just a little bit. Um, so originally, actually, I was very against CS because I don't like to do something that I'm forced to do. But I always loved problem solving and, you know, problem solving in like math or physics. So eventually when it was on my own terms, I re I got reintroduced to CS via like classes at school and I really fell in love with it. <clears throat> so how did you actually start your programming journey, um, you know, uh, besides classes at school and stuff? So when I like after I started taking some classes at my high school, and um, actually my middle school as well, middle school, then high school, I started doing um, clubs at school that were CS related, such as actually CS tutoring. And I also got into some research projects, kind of discovering more about um, what CS can really do for the world, aside from the obvious, you know, like social media platforms and such, but also how it can be used in very important industries like the healthcare industry and how it can be useful for identifying cancer and stuff like that. So what would you say are your biggest challenges, both previously and currently? I think one of my biggest challenges in the CS industry, which it started as my first challenge and it continues to be a challenge today is just feeling a little bit like a small fish in a big pond. I think computer science is such a hard industry. So you're going to come across a lot of people who are incredibly smart and incredibly talented at what they do. And it's really hard not to feel overwhelmed or just that you don't belong. But I think it's really important to just have some faith in yourself. It doesn't matter if your coding abilities are not even there, barely there, or if you're coding at like Facebook level, what you're doing is really impressive and you should always have confidence in what you do. Thanks. So what advice would you give anyone looking to start programming? <clears throat> Some advice I would give to new programmers or people who are a bit scared to go into CS is to play around with it. I think computer science and programming is such a scary thing in this this day and age. But honestly, if you start small, you take these baby steps, it can be so incredibly fun and fulfilling because it's it's such a space to be creative and and really explore your ingenuity and that's personally what I love so don't hold back and don't let anybody or anything convince you that it's too hard. Thanks Sophia. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Um, I'm really excited to be working with you all and happy coding. <laughs> Thanks.